I'm sorry that Mr. Leggett uh, has not responded in a way that will address the needs of people who are struggling very hard to get by on poverty wages. The cost of living in Montgomery County is high and an extra couple dollars an hour will make a great deal of difference for people who are living in overcrowded housing, struggling to put food on the table, struggling to put gasoline in the car. It really would make a difference and the evidence has been for the last three years the minimum wage has gone up in Montgomery County each year and the unemployment rate has gone down. So there is not evidence. The same people who said all of these terrible outcomes would occur now said the same thing three years ago and they have not occurred. So I was uh, wary three years ago. I did not co-sponsor the measure. I did vote for it. Uh, but now I am confident that um, we have a strong and healthy economy and that where there may be some disruption, um, the, it's outweighed by the very great benefit of, uh, that will accrue to the people and their families who are really struggling at poverty wages. So, so what happens now for those of you who supported the legislation? What do you do? What's going to happen for me is that I'm going to schedule some meetings in the Health and Human Services Committee so that we can hear directly from workers uh, struggling at poverty wages who, and how do they cope with Montgomery County's high cost of living. Are they living in overcrowded housing? Are they commuting long distances to get to work? Are, there, are they um, food insecure? You know, these are questions that I want to ask directly of affected workers. We've heard a lot from employers. I've heard from employers who want to be able to pay college students zero as an internship program. Well, the concern about that is, is that that creates privilege from generation to generation. If you're a fortunate college student and you can live with mommy and daddy and mommy and daddy will buy you a car and feed you, uh, then you can get access to a good job and improve your resume, whereas if you really need money to survive, a free internship is not going to be accessible to you. And so that's just a way of passing privilege on from generation to generation. So we have to be concerned about some of these youth exemptions, who really benefits and at whose expense.